Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Genai Vlog. So, continuing from previous session, we talked about how to use Mistral AI agent to write the code for us and to execute the code on our behalf. So, for example, if you run this code, it will initiate this chatbot. Uh, you can then enter something like this. Let's hit enter. Let's take a look. The prompt goes something like this: Hey, I have this data in this directory. I want you to write a Python code. Uh, here's a model that I want, right? Linear regression model using the package that I want, stats model package. And then here's a feature, so on and so forth. And then go do it, right? Let's examine the output just a little bit. Here's a Python code. And then there are a couple of helper functions. And then there's the main to execute all those functions here. Uh, so now next question goes, uh, what name do you want to use to as a save as a script? Let's say test one. And then we say capital Y, meaning yes, because I want to execute the code. Let's hit enter and then boom, there you go. You'll be able to see this regression results. And this regression results is actually coming from running this test script, which actually is created by a large language model. So there's actually no hallucination here because you can actually go to the terminal window and then you can say Python test one, you'll be able to get the exact same results. Let's put them side by side. Boom, there you go. That's where the results coming from. So it's coming from a Python script. Now here's the problem. I still need to have statistical skills to be able to understand this, right? Uh, for example, I can look at t-stats. If t-stats is larger, then the absolute value of two, then maybe this is statistically significant, right? So I still need a bit more knowledge, a bit more education to interpret these results, right? Because for now, these are just some random numbers. So what do I do, right? Not to worry, just talk to it, right? So you can say something like this. Uh, you can add a prompt here and say, add, an additional column in the table to explain uh, whether the coefficient is significant and what can I do with the coefficient. Say enter. As you can see here, it's the same prompt. I just add a bit more instruction to it. Now let's see if this can help us come up with some sort of methodology to interpret these coefficients. So boom, there you go. Uh, maybe there's a p-value, so on and so forth. We don't know, right? Let's execute the script. Let's say this is a test two. That's how we name it. Again, we say capital Y, that means yes. Say enter. Boom, there you go. Now we have a new table. Right, we have a new table and it actually interpreted this for us. And same thing, right? We can go to test2.py. This is the script that's just been created most recently. And let's examine this code a little bit, right? Let's move them to the right, open the terminal window. And then let's say Python test2, we execute the script and we should be able to get the exact same results, right? Let's put them side by side. There you go. That's where the table is coming from. So there you go. This shows you how to take one step further from just a linear regression model. How do we interpret it, right? And we do not need to ask user to have the education to go to four years of undergrad to interpret this. We can have an agent come up with some sort of rules to interpret this for us. And all you got to do is to talk to it. So with that being said, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully this video sheds some light of the huge upside potential of agent-based platform. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.